Hello everyone, welcome to Real Academy. Myself Vinit Moite, the faculty for biology and here what we'll be talking about is the human eye. It's a fascinating organ about your human body and how this organ helps in vision we'll be talking about here. Firstly, as you can see here, the first structure which is the cornea of your eye. The protective layer consisting of a single epithelial layer and this layer actually allows everything not to enter your eyes so that infections can be prevented. This cornea also contains some amount of liquid because of which the eyes are always maintained uh, humid or it's always maintained always they have moisture okay so that eye cornea is always getting the moisture you must have seen that you always close your eyelids again open those why that happens just because your eyes or the cornea requires moisture if your eyes dry up eyes won't see anything the cornea will die and so to as to moisture up that cornea you always require closing your eyelids apart from that cornea inside that you can see various such structures but before that you must be looking at this white colored structure this white colored structure of your eye is called as sclera sclera actually functions in maintaining the shape of this as well as sclera also contains many of the blood vessels which blood vessels are actually providing the eye the nourishment we have to remember one thing that it's only the sclera which contains the blood vessels the inner structure the lens and everything doesn't contain any type of blood vessels so iska matlab ki aapke paas jo bhi blood aa raha hai wo sirf aapke sclera ke wajah se aata hai inside to this what are present are the iris muscles you can see this yellow colored fibers like this which are called as muscles and this muscles actually even are protecting or else allowing your eye to either zoom up or else even narrow down whenever your eyes want to look at anything which is much nearer to you your eyes or your iris muscles will allow that eye to get closer okay aapka eye wahan pe chhota hone wala hai jiske wajah se zyada light aapke eye ke andar na ja sake and your eye will be protected whenever you want to look at anything which is farther away from you your lens will be getting widened up okay aapka lens widen kyu hota hai just because aapke iris muscles actually open hote once the iris muscles are open light can go inside much light can go inside and because of which what can happen is you can have a clear vision of something which is very much farther away now iris muscles are controlling the shape of your lens so that anything can enter within that in the center you can see a black colored structure which is not actually a structure but just a hole and that hole is called as pupil pupil is the structure from where the light enters firstly light will be entering through the cornea and finally into the pupil once it goes into the pupil then that light will fall on your lens uske baad aapka light aapke lens ke upar aane wala hai aur ek bar aapka light aapke lens ke upar aayega then that light will actually fall into the back of your eye but before that we have to see about another structures let us see about those you can see the upper structure here this upper structure is actually even black in color mostly black in color or else darker in color inside our eyes too and that upper layer is called as choroid this choroid is basically supplied by many blood vessels let us see those blood vessels so if you can look at all these blood vessels which are present here this blood vessels gives the darker environment of this sclera because of which what happens light will not be reflected here once your light enters from the cornea into the lens finally to the backward portion of your eye that light will go and reflect everywhere if that light is reflecting everywhere what can happen that light will give you multiple images of a single thing for example if you are looking at one person or is are looking at a brighter window for example so that brighter window will be seen to your eye as four to five windows because of what is happening here reflections are occurring but instead all this blood vessels are present here called as choroid what those choroid do they don't allow such reflections if they are not allowing such reflections what can happen aapko jo samne ek cheez hai wo ek hi cheez dikhne wali hai because of which limited reflections will be occurring inside your eye we must be doing about flash photography whenever a camera is in front of you and if that camera is clicking pictures of you with a flash what happens your eyes look red in color why those eyes are becoming red in color because that flash has large amount of light whenever that light enters from here it will go back and will start reflecting everywhere okay once it reflects everywhere what will happen is once you see at your image into the camera that image will have red colored eyes why you get red colored eyes just because 
दैट लाइट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग एवरीवेयर इन टू योर ब्लड वेसल्स ऑफ द कोरोड एंड कोरोड के ब्लड वेसल्स मतलब वो रेड कलर के रहेंगे इसके वजह से आपका टोटल आय वहां पे रेड कलर का दिखता है दैट्स अबाउट योर कोरोड वंस यू गो बैक एट दिस स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन सी दो ब्लड वेसल्स आर कंटिन्यूंग इन टू अनदर स्ट्रक्चर द बैक ऑफ द आय एंड दैट बैक इज कॉल्ड एज रेटिना सो बेसिकली वॉट इज हैपनिंग here you have light entering from here that light will pass through the cornea next you have your lens from where the light will pass on to the retina once it goes on to the retina here that retina has two types of cells one of them is called as rod cell second one of that cell is called as cone cells rod cells are basically important to give you a dim light vision for example if there are no lights around you and you are looking at something then rod cells are something which are present here which are actually helping you in that vision secondly cone cells are helping you in differentiating various colors both of these cells are present at the back side of your retina okay both of these cells are actually important in vision both in color vision as well as in dim light vision too so ye aapka jo part hai retina it will allow that images to be formed once images are formed here those images will be now taken by the next part called as optic nerve okay optic means your eye nerve means a bundle of neurons ये न्यूरॉन स्ट्रेट आपके ब्रेन तक जाने वाले ओके सो विच मीन्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम हियर द इमेज विल बी फॉर्म दैट इमेज विल बी गोइंग टुवर्ड्स द ऑप्टिक नर्व दैट सिग्नल विल बी गोइंग टुवर्ड्स द ऑप्टिक नर्व एंड दैट सिग्नल विल बी नाउ रीचिंग द ब्रेन देयर फॉर योर ब्रेन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ब्रेन विल अंडरस्टैंड वेदर दैट थिंग वॉज सीन बाई यू एनी टाइम अर्लियर आपका ब्रेन उसके हिसाब से आपके इमेजेस यहाँ पे बनाने वाला है सो रेटिना बेसिकली हेल्प्स इयर इन फॉर्मिंग द इमेज एंड दैट इमेज विल बी देन कंसिड बाय द ब्रेन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पार्ट कॉल्ड एज योर ऑप्टिक नर्व अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिम जस्ट बिसाइड द ऑप्टिक नर्व यू हैव अनदर स्पॉट ऑन द रेटिना एंड दैट स्पॉट इज कॉल्ड एज येलो स्पॉट और इज मैक्यूला ल्यूटिया वेन एवर लाइट फ्रॉम हियर enters and it falls on the macula lutea or is the yellow spot once it falls on the yellow spot what will happen is you will be having clear vision of that particular thing suppose if you are looking at this part okay so which means what this part will be clear to you remaining on the left and right will be completely blurred for your eyes once your eye looks at the left part this all part will be blurred to you so which means what something where, where you are looking at this image here for example this pen this image in your eyes is actually falling on the yellow spot which we talked earlier while this images are not falling on your yellow spot therefore you don't have a clear vision of this you know what is here but you can't have a clear vision okay similarly if you are having two people in front of you if you are looking at one if you are not looking at the second person what will happen the one at whom you are looking that person you will be having a clear image of him but the second one you will be having the blurred image once you look at the second person what will happen that second person will have a clear image or else you will be having a clear image of that second person but not of the first so in this way aapke eyes wahan pe macula lutea ke upar unke rays girne ke baad wo image aapko clear dikhta hai consider you have a eye model here and you have a pen here if you are looking at the pen what will happen you will be having a clear image of this but not the image of this because pen ka jo bhi image aapki aankhon ke andar ban raha hai wo image actually yellow spot ke upar ban raha hai that image is actually formed at the yellow spot just beside the optic nerve therefore yellow spot is actually also called as area of clear vision where clear images will be formed elsewhere clear images won't be formed unless you focus on that point so basically the point where you are focusing wo point aapka clear image ban jata hai because wo point ke rays aapke macula lutea ke upar gir rahe or else yellow spot ke upar gir rahe next one this area from where the optic nerve is arising ye jo area hai jahan se optic nerve bahar nikal raha hai that area doesn't have rods that area doesn't have nerves i mean cone cells rods and cone cells agar dono bhi wahan pe nahi rahenge to uske wajah se kya hoga ki ye area ko hum log bolenge blind spot blind spot means yahan pe agar koi bhi image banta hai then that image won't be seen by you just because that part doesn't contain rods that part doesn't contain cones so which means yahan pe agar aapka image rays kahi pe bhi if the rays coming from here if they fall on the blind spot you will not see that particular thing unless and until you focus on that particular images okay so aapka ye blind spot ban jata hai and therefore it will not form any image elsewhere whenever the rays are falling on the retina that part will be formed as an image and that image will be then translated into the brain just by this optic nerve in this way your eye works with all these structures 
because of which vision is possible. And this vision is made possible just because of one structure here called as retina. We have a development inside your eyes because of which we have all this structure before the retina like lens as well as cornea. But some animals who were born earlier than us who were born on earth before us, they had the eyes but they had directly this one that is the retina. They didn't have all these structures. Evolution played a major part, adaptations played a major part to bring all these structures because of which your eye was actually can be called as a complete eye model. That's it for this model. Thank you for attending this session.